So this whole Michigan possibly leaving the Big Ten thing. Let's again go to a, a holistic view of this. If Jim Harbaugh is fired because the NCAA forces the hand, if if the Big Ten forces the hand, let's start there. If he's gone, does that mean that I mean, it's going to cause a massive stink. Michigan won't want that. It seems as though the university is never going to bring the hammer down on Jim Harbaugh. Does that mean a Lance Leipold, uh, a Matt Campbell still? He's still, the season they've had, still in the conversation for going to a bigger Midwestern job, though I think he'll stay at Iowa State. Does Leipold, Campbell, are those names in the mix at a university like Michigan? Is there a way that that program is looking to the Big 12 to poach a head coach or other programs in the country, maybe A&M even, are looking to poach a Leipold? I don't know. I'm here more so to hit you with the holistic conference side of this. The first thing this is going to prove with Michigan leaving the Big Ten, if this happens, which I, it, it's preposterous, right? To sound like there's, there's no way this could happen because how would you go? Where would you go? Would you go to the SEC? You, you wouldn't go to the ACC. Come on, I'll, I'll take you in the Big 12. If Brett Yormar gets in the horn tomorrow and says, Michigan, buddy, no sanctions for you. Jim Harbaugh can stay. We'd love to have you. That'd be great. i take that in a heartbeat. And some of you are screaming in the car right now, like, oh, no, you shouldn't do that. Yeah, absolutely, you should. The money, the exposure that comes with having a Michigan in your conference, everybody in the country is chomping at the bit for something like that. And Michigan is likely just saying this. The, these murmurs coming out of the Board of Regents from the administration saying this to show the power they have in that conference. If you if you were told tomorrow the Alabama Board of Regents was having a meeting on Tuesday to, to talk about whether or not they want to stay in the SEC, I can guarantee you Greg Sankey would be on the phone doing whatever he could to appease the powers that be at Alabama to make sure that didn't happen. For Michigan, they are perturbed. They are upset. And while the turmoil has been mostly in the ACC with the Clemson, with the Miami, with the Florida State, with an NC State, with the North Carolina, what if the Big Ten what if in a, in a dream scenario for me, in the trickle down effect for, of this for me, Michigan leaving the Big Ten just implodes what very well could have been the most prominent league in college athletics. NIL, viewership, pay per school when it comes to a TV deal. If you rip the Michigan rug out from underneath that, now you think about the instability of having UCLA and USC there who are not winning football games. And I know the whole winning football games, what are you doing for me lately, isn't a massive thing. If it was, Oregon State would be in the Big 12. You know, you'd take a team like Oregon State who's playing so well in that sport, in the marquee sport. It's not how it's going to work. Just because USC and UCLA are struggling, it's not like that's going to bring them down in the Big Ten. However, if a Michigan was to leave, if a Michigan was to decide that, you know what? Their rivals, Ohio State, said, oh, we can't let our rival one up. We can't let our rival one up the conference and, and thus one up us. We got to do something similar. In that case, in that event, do you think that the stability is enough to bring in USC and UCLA comfortably? No. You think that it stays together and holds? No. Well, we've been talking about the implosion of the ACC, the inevitable implosion of the ACC. A move like that is one that absolutely begins to chip away at the foundation of the Big Ten and not just chip away. It ignites it. It ignites it because of their standing in that conference and how big of a brand they are in college football. I also, for a second, it's stupid. It really is stupid to have suspended Jim Harbaugh here. I am of the thought. If they win the national championship this season, they're going to hoist that trophy up and it's going to be phony. It's going to be a Mickey Mouse trophy. Everybody's going to look around and say, oh, we know why Michigan got this because they cheated. But what if we find out six months from now, hey, look, truly was just a rogue guy, just a dude on staff who was insane um, and took things way too far. Michigan maybe knew about it, kind of knew about it. They just let him do his own thing. People sign stealing, you know, you still got to win it between the white lines. And in six months, we find out Jim Harbaugh didn't do anything wrong. And we've stripped an, an, a national championship or that opportunity away from him. I'm with it. I'd rather that be done after. This is, if this is my school, if this is a school in the Big 12, I don't want to take that opportunity away and come to find out. Yeah, truly, there were no texts, no calls. I mean, he didn't even know who Connor Stallions was. He was such a low level staffer. I don't think that's the case. I don't think that's the case. But if it comes out that it is and you've stripped their opportunity, that's not good. I understand why they're so pissed at the Big Ten. I would be. Terrible move by that conference. But I, I just, at the same time, I mentioned this a second ago. I don't know if that's enough to warrant them leaving the league. 
And, and if they do, in this hypothetical scenario where you begin to chip away at the, the foundation, if they do, you also prove these universities can be bigger than a conference. These universities can be bigger than the NCAA. You say, you know what? You did something unfair that I didn't like. I can just pack it in. I can, I can pack it in and quit. I can go somewhere else, still make money, still lean on my brand. Does this show that, hey, in five years, I don't think it'll be this case, but in five years, Dion's still at Colorado and says, look, my brand's getting bigger than the Big 12. The trajectory of this conference isn't good enough for me. Let's just go. At what point can schools say, like a Michigan right here, we are so big, we don't need you anymore. And is there ever a point where there's a Big 12 team that sees, hey, Michigan just said to the conference, we don't need you anymore. What if we did that? A lot of different angles to look at this from. Kind of a wild deal. They suspended the guy. Mid-season without any investigation. Preliminary suspension. Funky. Weird. Still got to win it between the lines. Change your signs. This has been and always will be. I'll see you tomorrow, folks. A lot of stuff to talk about. A lot of coaching rumors and stuff. Holistic views of the conference. It's a big week. This has been and always will be. Locked on. I'm so sick. Thanks for making it your first lesson every single day. Dose Grande.